Hello friends, I am Kavi Arora, CEO of Religear Finvest. As the chief executive for the business, I have a certain vision. However, there are some challenges in making that vision a reality. You can actually help me in choosing the inappropriate path for making that vision a reality. But before we get into that, let's look at what is Religear as a group all about. Religear is a global financial services group with diversified businesses. Broadly, the businesses can be divided into three categories. The integrated financial services in India, an emerging market investment bank, and global assets management platform. In India, Religear offers the following financial services. Broking services, lending solutions, insurance solutions, private wealth management, and mutual fund. In broking services, we have one of the largest networks with presence over 500 cities and 2,000 locations. We offer these services in products like commodity, equity, derivatives, and currency. Our lending business, which is one of the fastest growing businesses, we offer consumer loans and commercial loans. Well, we will talk more about that in some time to come. Our private wealth business is done under the entity Religare Macquarie Private Wealth, which is a 50-50 JV with Macquarie Bank of Australia. We won the most exciting new private wealth business award in 2009 for that business. Our insurance business is done under an entity called Egon Religare Life Insurance, where we offer life insurance products. And we have a distribution business where we are tied up with over 38 companies in India offering life insurance, general insurance, and reinsurance products. Religare Asset Management is one of the fastest growing mutual fund businesses in this country. With AUM over 107 billion rupees, presence in 57 locations and 14,000 distributors. We have an emerging market focused investment bank headquartered at London with presence in over 10 countries. Our global assets management business is focused on creating a multi boutique platform to unlock the value of best of breed asset managers globally. Being such a diversified financial services player, we have put together a vision statement which brings the businesses together. And the vision statement is to be a leading global financial services player from emerging markets, driven by innovation, focused on delivering exceptional value to all stakeholders. So coming back to where we started from, the lending business. We started this business in January 2009 and defined as our customer segment, a self-employed businessman in existence with a proven track record for two to three years, looking for money for expansion. So, we came in as the growth capital providers to the self-employed. And we addressed this requirement with two or three product uh, lines, which is the SME working capital loans, mortgages, and commercial assets. In mortgages, we do home equity and uh, home loan business. In commercial assets, we do construction equipment, commercial vehicles, right from the LCVs, MCVs, HCVs, the entire range, and high-end construction equipment. And as I said, in SME loans, we do working capital and plant and machinery loans. We are present in 23 locations across the country offering these products to our customers. Our current book size on mortgage is about 2,600 crores, commercial assets of about 1,100 crores, and the SME book at about 600 crores. We have, in fact, crossed a billion dollar assets book as we speak. Let me now share something on the governance model of this business, how we structure today. We have three business verticals that I spoke about, the SME, mortgage, and commercial assets. 
and each of these business verticals are headed by a business head who drives the profitability of the business. They have sales teams running down to the ground in all 23 locations separately for each vertical. We have the risk structure which is central and supports all these three business verticals and an operation structure which cuts across these verticals. And the chief operating officer of the business, the chief risk officer of the business, along with the three business heads and me, we form a management committee which runs this business. The vision for this business is to cross 25,000 crores of asset book by 2013 and to be among the top 200 corporates in this country on the bottom line. So let me share with you what is the dilemma that I have in my mind today. How to make this 25,000 crore vision happen? Should we build on the businesses that are already there? Should we look at expanding those businesses to the newer cities, newer geographies in India? How should we structure ourselves? Is the current structure and the product speed good enough to make that 25,000 crore happen? So these are some of the things that, uh, that keep coming to my mind as I look ahead in 2013. It's not that I lose my sleep over this, but what I'm looking for is what are some of those strategic choices that is available to us to make this vision a reality? You guys now have the opportunity to shape the future of this very fast, rapidly growing business. What I expect from each one of you is to look ahead and evaluate various options that we may have and recommend which of those paths should we take in order to achieve this vision? This is really a great opportunity for each one of you and I wish you guys all the best because this will go a long way in establishing your career.